how to select secondary current of CT. We can see that always our CTs, the current transformers, secondary current is 1 ampere or 5 ampere. For our specific purpose, which secondary current 1 ampere or 5 ampere we should select. I am electrical engineer. To learn this thing, don't skip this video till its last. I am going to tell you a thumb rule that most of the engineers are doing in the industry without doing any calculations. Here are two cases. The first case is if the length of the wire between CT and meter or relays is less than 10 meter then we will use a CT with 5 ampere secondary current. It is the case happens when both the current transformer and meter or relays are presented on the same electrical panel. In this case we have an electrical panel and these are the CTs and its secondary wire are connected to the meter or relay whatever. In this case the length of the wire is less than 10 meter because both of these are on same panel. So in this case we will use a CT with 5 ampere secondary current. The second case is if the length of the wire is greater than 10 meter. See I am just here taking an example of a substation. In this substation it is our yard or we can say field. Here we have the transformer and we have breaker current transformer. Okay, The wires from the secondary of this current transformer has been taken to the control panel existed on the control room. In most of the cases the distance between this CT and this electrical panel would be greater than 10 meter. Okay, That means the length of the wire will be more than 10 meter. In this case we would use a current transformer with 1 ampere secondary current. I hope you understood this topic. If you wanna get more videos with lot of information like this, please consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.